Hi, this is Don Nelson, editor of the Additive Report and host of the Additive Manufacturing Minute. I am here at Rapid and TCT 2022. I am at the Xerox LM Additive Solutions booth and I'm speaking with Tally Rossman, who is the company's VP and general manager. Uh, thank you for having us, we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for coming over. You bet. Uh, I wanted. To, I have a couple of questions here, and they're based on a speech that you gave recently, I think it was in March, at some industry function. And in the speech, you talked about your interest in 3D printing, micro factories, and the global supply chain. And so if you can briefly uh, kind of connect how all of those three ideas work together and you know, how they could work together. Absolutely. So in, in our view, the key to supply chain resiliency is having the ability to make the parts that you need when you need them on demand and where you need them close to the point of consumption. And I think everything that's been going on in the last two years really hammered the point that having the supply chain resiliency and agility, I mean, I would say it's a matter of national security at this stage. Wow. You mean, well, obviously you're talking about COVID-19 and how things were yeah. so disrupted. And yeah, absolutely. And you're seeing all these supply chain shortages that can have a great impact to the economy. You can also, if you're thinking about the defense industry, they can have a major impact on readiness. So I think that ability to even if you're not going to be using 3D printing as your default form of production, but at the very least having 3D printers as a backup generator to have an assurance in your part supply, I think that's a critical capability that companies need to have. Okay, all right. Uh, in the same speech, you, you said a lot of metal 3D, 3D printing technology is very complicated and in training people to use them is costly and time consuming. And you made a point of saying that when, when Xerox was developing its, its LMX, uh, liquid metal printer, the company tried to make the printer simple and easy to use. And, you know, I was thinking about that and I thought, can you design a highly sophisticated, advanced 3D printer that is easy to use or, or do you have to make trade-offs between uh, complexity, capabilities, and, and ease of use? It's a great question. So firstly, I hope we've proven with LMX for anybody that uses it that you can have production grade. I knew you would assume. <laughs> you set me up for it. Uh, that you can have production grade uh, metal parts with that. Um, with that said, you, you can use LMX in what I call default configuration. So it's incredibly easy to use and you can get the parts that you need. You can also have quote unquote sophisticated advanced options that give you more functionalities um, and a broader range of options, but that obviously comes at the expense of you need to be a more sophisticated user. Okay. So right. it's nice, you can kind of have them both. You can have them both, okay. Uh, last question. Uh, recently, uh, Rochester Institute of Technology uh, acquired an LMX, and in the press release that was sent out, you said that this will help Xerox to further refine our solution. What refinements can we expect to the LMX in the coming year so, two years? Yeah, so we, well, first of all, RIT has been a great collaborator. Um, we're really excited about the partnership with them. And we're working with them towards advancing the technology further. Some of the things you can expect is additional materials coming yeah. the way. I think that is arguably going to be the but number you're one thing. Limited to aluminum. Today. Today. Not necessarily tomorrow. <laughs> okay, and anything else about uh, refinements we can expect? Are we, well, we're in continuous improvement mode. We obviously want to make it faster. We want to continuously improve uh, the throughput, the reliability, all the usual suspects. But I think really for us, where LMX is, expanding the material range will add the most value to our customers. So that's really our number one focus. All right. Well, well thank you, Telly. And thank you. Thank you to all of you that tuned in. Uh, this is Don Nelson. Uh, see you next time.